So in uh, part 4, uh, chapter 2 polynomial, okay, we will see factor theorem, right. What is factor theorem? Let P of X be any polynomial of degree greater than or equal to 1 and for any real constant A, the linear polynomial X minus A is a factor of P of X if and only if P of A equal to 0. That means the value of the polynomial, okay will be 0. Okay, means uh, then we can say x minus a is a factor of p of x. Clear? That is uh, the if and only if means what? Both way it is true. That is conversely. Clear? Conversely also true. Conversely means reversely also it is true. Understand? If and only if the meaning is conversely. Okay, reversely also it is true. So, x minus a is a factor of p of x means we can write p of a equal to 0. p of a equal to 0 means we can say x minus a is a factor of p of x. Clear? We try to understand the statement. Clear? If and only if means conversely, reversely also it is true. Given x minus a is a factor of p of x means then the result is p of a equal to 0. Suppose you can take reversely. It is given if p of a equal to 0 means then the result is what? x minus a is a factor of p of x. Clear? This is factor theorem. Using this factor theorem we can see some problems. Clear? Now you see this problem. Example 1. Check whether uh, y plus 3 is a factor of the polynomial 3 y cube plus 3 y squared minus 7 y plus 6. Right? We have to check whether this polynomial y plus 3 is a factor of this polynomial or not. You have to check that. Okay. So further what you have to do is x. This is the form of what? x minus a. Okay. This one you can write y minus of minus 3. So that a we have to what? put in this polynomial. Then uh, whether 0 are getting here okay. or not. You have to check. So first you have to take this uh, polynomial as p of y. The polynomial is in y. That's why you have to take it. Clear? See the solution. Let p of y is equal to this uh, given polynomial. You take it. 3y cube plus 3y squared minus 7y plus 6. Right? Now that uh, linear polynomial you take. There is a uh, y plus 3 equal to 0 simply you put so so that you will get y equal to what this 3 you bring this side y plus 3 equal to 0 means this 3 you bring this side means in rougher column you do and see clear y equal to minus 3 now put y equal to minus 3 in this put y equal to minus 3 means you will get p of minus 3 p of minus 3 means 3 into minus 3 the whole cube plus 3 into minus 3 the whole square minus 7 into minus 3 plus 6. Okay. You see all the values I put in the bracket. Okay. If you use bracket means, uh, okay, that is uh, <coughs> more easy. Clear? You will not get any mistake. Understand? That's why put the value in the bracket. That is very important. Now, 3 into, first bracket 1 simplified, that means minus cube means minus, right? 3 cube is 27 plus 3 into, this one is square means 9, right? Minus 3 into minus 3. Minus 3 whole square means minus 3 is multiplied by 2 times. So that means minus 3 into minus 3 is 9, right? Now, minus of minus plus 7 into 3, 21 plus 6. Right. Now, 3 into minus 27. 3 my, plus into minus, minus first you write. Then 3 into 7, 21. Okay. Carry to 6 means 8, minus 81. Plus, here how much? 27. Plus, that is also how much? 21 plus 6, 27. Okay. So, minus 81 plus 54. So, 
minus is weak, right? Minus, minus is weak, right? Minus. So fifty four minus uh, eighty one. Okay, eighty one fifty four subtract. What you will get? Eleven means seven. Okay. Yeah, remainder is uh, so twenty seven. Okay, twenty seven you will get right. So eighty one minus uh, fifty four twenty seven. So minus number is big. So put the minus sign. So minus twenty one is not equal to zero. It is not equal to zero. Therefore, p of minus three is not equal to zero means. Okay, according to the factor theorem says what p of a equal to zero. Generally, you can say it's a factor, right? But here, not equal to zero coming. Therefore, what you can say, <coughs> this uh, y plus three is not a factor of uh, this polynomial p of y. Okay, y plus three is not a factor. Is not a factor of p of y. Okay, so next two we'll see some exercise problems. You see exercise two point four. First, determine which of the following polynomial x plus one is a factor of this polynomial. Okay, this problem uh, some more uh, subdivision also the first two subdivision I will teach you. Right, this is we have to check x plus one is a factor of this or not. Further, what you have to do? You have to find out what uh, p of minus one. P of minus one. Here, p of minus one. You see. If first you take a let this one you name it p of x always p of x name it. Next to this one you uh, in the rougher column you put and see x plus one equal to zero means x is equal to what minus one. Okay, so put uh, x is equal to minus one here means p of minus one you will get minus one cube plus Minus one squared plus minus one plus one. Okay. Now minus one cube is minus one plus minus one squared is one plus into minus minus one again plus one. You see one minus one one plus one zero so cancel minus one plus one zero so cancel so whole thing will be zero. Correct. So zero you are getting. So zero that means uh, you can say what the x plus one is a factor of P of uh, x, clear? Therefore, P of minus one equal to zero. That implies, by factor theorem, we can say x plus one is a factor of P of x. X plus one is a factor of P of x. Understand? Very simple. Easily we can see about use of factor theorem and it. We can find out whether it is factor or not. If how to get zero means it is a factor. Not equal to zero means previous problem not equal to zero, so it is not a factor. Okay, here we are getting zero, so it is a factor. Okay. Next, to you see the fourth problem. Okay, some typical problem. Fourth problem is a typical typical problem because irrational number is there. Okay, the simplification part that you have to what learn very correctly. Okay, that's why I am teaching this problem. Okay, so now you see, uh, same let uh, always you take let uh, p of x equal to that is very important. Okay, blindly you, you should not do. Clear, simply you put the uh, value of x in, like this. Blindly you should not do. Clear, you how to take uh, p of x is given polynomial. Okay, so x cube minus x square minus two plus root two into x plus root two. Right now, what you have to do? X plus one is you have to check whether the x plus one is a factor or not. You have to check. Okay, no problem. So x plus one you write in the right proper column. So x is equal to what minus one. Put x is equal to minus one in this. That means p of minus one is equal to minus one whole cube minus of minus one the whole square minus of two plus root two into minus one plus root two. You see the simplification here. Minus one cube is minus one. Minus one squared is plus one into minus that is minus one, right? 
Now you see minus into minus all into this one. So you can multiply straight away this minus into minus plus. Right. Now you write 2 plus root 2. Okay. Plus root 2. Plus root 2. So here what you will get? Minus 1, minus 1, minus 2. Plus 2. This one you cannot add. Okay. Write first word. This you add. Then this one write as it is. Now we can add these two like terms. Root 2 plus root 2. That means 1 root 2 plus 1 root 2 is what? 2 root 2. 2 root 2. Right. Now 1 minus 2, 1 plus 2 is 0. You can cancel it. Then 0 plus 2 root 2. That is uh, 2 root 2 you will get. That is not equal to 0. This is not equal to 0. Therefore, P of minus 1 is not equal to 0. That gives x plus 1 is not a factor, is not a factor of P of X. Not a factor of P of X. Next problem, we will see this uh, second problem. Use factor theorem to determine whether G of X is a factor of P of X in each of the following case. Okay. You see, the, I am taking a second problem, second subdivision. Okay. P of x is given, G of x is given here. What you have to do? You have to check uh, G of x is a factor of P of x. Or you have to check. For that, what you have to do? First, in the rougher column, you put uh, x plus uh, 2 equal to 0 means what you will get? x is equal to minus 2. So, put in this. Uh, already P of x is given. Okay. You put, uh, you have to find out P of minus 2. Okay. In P of x, you put uh, P of minus 2 means minus 2 the whole Q plus 3 into minus 2 the whole square plus 3 into minus 2 plus 1 right plus 1 that is equal to minus 2 cube is minus 8 okay then minus uh, 2 squared is 4 4 into 3 12 straight away also you can do minus uh, 2 into plus 3 is minus 6 minus 6 plus 1 now you see <clears throat> minus 8, minus 8, minus 6. All minus you first add. Minus 8, minus 6. All first two terms, what you, what you will get? Minus 8 uh, plus 2 is 4. Then minus 6 uh, plus 1 is minus 5. So what you will get here? Minus 1 is not equal to 0. Not equal to 0. Therefore, uh, P of minus 2 is not equal to 0 means by factor theorem here what you can say not equal to 0 means g of x is not a factor g of x is not a factor of p of x g of x is not a factor of p of x okay now we will see the third question you see very important this is a very important question Repeated question here okay? because find the value of k. Find the value of k if x minus 1 is a factor of p of x in each of the following cases. That means p of x is given. So you have to take first to let p of x p of x equal to okay. So the problem says read the problem. Problem says already what if x minus 1 is a factor of p of x. So, if x minus 1 is a factor of p of x, means what is the condition here? p of 1 equal to 0. p of 1 equal to 0. Clear? On taking p of 1 equal to 0, we can find out k value. We can find out k value. Now, you see, x minus 1 means put uh, x is equal to 1. Right? x minus 1 equal to 0 means x is equal to 1. Put x is equal to 1 here. First to find out p of 1. Okay. p of 1 equal to 2 into 1 squared plus k into 1 plus root 2. Plus root 2. So here uh, how much you will get? 2 plus k plus root 2. Okay. p of 1 you will get 2 plus k plus root 2. All or unlike terms you cannot add. Clear? There is no like terms. You cannot add. Keep as it is. Okay. You have to find out k value. That's all. Clear. Now, now you come to the problem. That is, but p of 1 equal to 0. 
it is given p of 1 equal to 0 given ok understand because x minus uh, uh, 1 is a factor of uh, what p of x it is given x minus 1 is a factor of p of x means p of 1 equal to 0 therefore what is p of 1 this is p of 1 so 2 plus k plus root 2 equal to 0 ok now k we have to find out k value so k equal to you bring these two terms this side plus 2 bring means minus 2 plus root 2 bring means minus root 2 therefore k equal to minus you take common means 2 plus root 2 that is the value of k that is the value of k so easily we can do ok so next to problem 4 to 1 we will see right p of x is given ok p of x is given therefore uh, let uh, take uh, p of x equal to kx square minus 3x plus k same x minus 1 is a factor of p of x is given so x minus 1 is put uh, x is equal to 1 put x is equal to 1 here that means p of 1 you find out first k into 1 square minus 3 into 1 plus k right so 1 square is 1 so k you will get minus 3 plus k right now like term k plus k 2k you can write k plus k 2k right now we got it p of 1 but uh, it is given x minus 1 this is a factor of P of x, it is given, it is given, right. Therefore, x minus 1 is a factor of P of uh, x means P of 1 equal to 0. That is factor theorem says, right. x minus 1 is a factor of P of x means this, uh, this is the form of x minus a. Okay, the factor theorem what says? P of a equal to 0. So, a is here 1. So, P of 1 equal to 0. Okay, now we have P of 1 here. 2k minus 3 equal to 0. Therefore, 2k equal to 3. 2k equal to 3. So, what is k value? 3 by 2. k value is 3 by 2 here. Okay, that's all. So, <clears throat> we have to find out k value. So, we got it. k value is 3 by 2. Right. So, you do uh, these uh, homework problems. Okay. So, this 1, 2, 3 reader problem, textbook uh, problems, and 4 and 5 uh, extra problems. You see, so that x minus 1 into x minus 2 is a factor of clear this given polynomial. That means, uh, first you have to take x minus 1 is a factor of this polynomial or not. You have to check that. That means, put uh, x is equal to 1 in this polynomial, means you should get 0 because so that is given. So, definitely 0 will come. Again, x minus 2 also you put, that is x is equal to 2 you put in this polynomial means you have to get 0. Here. Then you write final answer, therefore both are getting 0. Therefore you write x minus 1 into x minus 2. Clear? It's a factor of this you can write. Or you can write like that also. Two factors, this is x minus 1 and the x minus 2 are factors of this polynomial. Like that also you can write. Clear? Nothing wrong with that. So here also same way, same way you have to do this problem also, clear? Just and sometimes they may ask like that also, clear? You uh, practice uh, these problems, okay?